Hey guys, so I'm currently on my way back to ACU. I'm gonna go get a slushie right now. But yes, I am on my way back to ACU um, again. Wait, what race this? Why? Because I think I'm going to finally uh, decide which college I want to go to. I'm going to finally decide on ACU, I think. But we're gonna go back, see what my mom says, but I'm gonna go get a slushie right now because we've been driving for a long time. Oh my god. The mother load. Hey, She's talking to her boyfriend. Look at her. <laughs> You're recording me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need a knife sharpening kit when there's already so many knives in my back. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was just a joke. We, oh, girl. That's my mom. She's getting gas. <laughs> um, so I think I'm pretty much decided on, oh my God, it's a Tesla charging station out here in the middle of nowhere in Abilene. Isn't that crazy? Oh, uh, we went for a tour again. I went with my mom because I love my mom and I want my mom to support me in every decision I make. I'm insecure to make decisions by myself because I always think of all the negative instead of the positive. And so when my mom went, she really liked it. She said she could see me there and uh, yeah. Also, we still have two hours on this road trip back home. Look at all my acne. I saw that really cute tour guide at a coffee shop we went to. Lord knows I'm gonna marry him. <laughs> Our favorite time, traffic time. Let's answer some questions from the audience, okay? <laughs> Very good. It's about me? Oh. Hello. What's your favorite yeah. color? My favorite color? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It used to be red and blue. Mine's purple because I go to AC. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Okay. Ay, son bien pendejos estos viejos. What is your favorite hobby? Yeah. You think he's cute, this boy? Mm, no, it's okay. Um, what is your favorite hobby? I don't have any. Well, I'll go to Zumba, I guess. She said, I like to get that thick booty. <laughs> She gave me some of that. We have too much. But what did you want to be when you were a child? Or a teenager? Like like job, what did you want? Uh, study. How did the people give the, the notices? Uh-huh. You want to be a news anchor? Uh-huh. A what? A news, news anchor. Yeah. That. That's the end of questions. Uh -huh. Okay. So, I wanted to do a small, like, Q&A portion, if you know what I mean. Like a little, like, a fresh Q&A, something like that. The next question is, um, where do I plan on going, like, after high school? And I didn't know that answer for a really long time. I was really nervous about, like, where I was going to go, where I was going to be. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to ACU. The next question is, what are you most excited about for college? I think I'm just excited for the freedom. Because, like, in high school, it's, like, there's a lot of rules and, like, like, like... Um, the next question is, um, what was it? Oh, uh, how did you survive high school? And honestly, if I didn't have this year to like add to that experience, I would've been like, oh, piece of cake, you know, just do your work, study, 
don't burn yourself out like have a social life go to sleep early like have a hobby like go to the gym or like do something fun and you'll get right through it but I would say senior year is the hardest year because it's just like you're not motivated and while like you're not doing that much work it feels like every little assignment is like the hardest thing because you just don't want to be there but I guess how I'd survive high school is just that I try my very best to stay positive and um, I just turn my work in on time like man, really if you turn every single assignment in on time with good quality work you're gonna get you're gonna like have good grades and things like that what do you want to study is the next question um this question stresses me out because I don't know like I just picked what college I want to go to and I'm really not even that sure about that but it's something in the medical field because um, I think serving people is something I'm called to do and like medical is like a great way to gain education get a good job and also serve people and how did you pick which college you're going to it was it was hard it I mean I I mean if you're not religious I mean still like I prayed about it if you're not religious I just give it a lot of thought and just think about it um, but I did pray about it a lot and I was like just I just prayed that like Lord wherever I go just give me such a like a strong feeling and a burden and just a heavy desire to go there and I also prayed let every single door open for me if you want me to go for, to that university and to be honest I did not think I was going to go to ACU at all because I didn't really want to move to Abilene Ab if you know Abilene Abilene is like a small college town but it's crazy like Sometimes you don't consider an opportunity until God has placed you at the front door of that opportunity and then you walk through it and you realize, wow, like God had all these things planned for me, like I didn't have to worry about it. So yeah, I, I, I do think that picking your college is something very personal. Obviously consider your cost. Make sure you ha they have your major. Do you want to live far from home? Do you want to live on campus? Do you want to commute? Um, do you want to pay be paying student loans for a long time after college, you know? So uh, definitely don't make any decisions until you've received your financial packages. Um, another thing I would can, like talk to people who have been to that university, ask them about their experience, you know, ask them how did they enjoy it, how did they like it, you know, different things like that. And um, talk to the admissions people, they're there for you, that's their job, ask them questions. I literally emailed my admissions counselor like I think at least 30 times and she answered. Thank you so much for watching, I will be posting once a week for this month i don't know how i'm ordering january but i have videos planned out for this week this month so hopefully my posting schedule will be a little bit more on point um i love you guys thank you much for supporting and liking and watching i will see you soon